Okay, so this is the Griffins by HR Sports. HR is the initials of the owner, and that's the Griffin there in orange, black, and white. It is definitely English Willow, and the owner who's actually been inspired by the channel has decided to create his own brand, um, HR Sports, and he's gone all out with getting it engraved and purchased Willow had it shipped to Bangladesh to get made, um, found a bat maker to do it um, of some reputation. And uh, yeah, this is the end result. So this has actually been sent to a player in New South Wales and he's asked her to send it to me to review. Unfortunately, as the bat was sent in the cover with no box or or bubble wrap or any sort of protection it has been damaged on the way um, so you can make your own box it's not that hard that is the shape and it's pretty much a player's shape you could argue that's a, a mid middle very much that sort of style everybody likes at the moment um, we've got the duck bill going on all that meat is put into the bat you've got a nice long uh, middle that tapers away towards the edge but it's actually a little bit of width left in the bat towards the shoulders too which I don't mind and there's a lot of height up here on the spine near the handle too. So that's pretty good. The bat willow looks to be about a grade uh, two. We've got seven grains with heartwood on the right hand as outside edge. Spec down the bottom and a little bit of a pin knot coming through here causing this grain to wobble off towards the left hand as uh, inside edge. Um, finishing on the bat, uh, it, it does look like something that's been uh, custom made. Um, the, you can sort of see that dullness to it at the moment, which I hope the new lighting is helping portray. Unfortunately, you can see all the dents that it's received from Australia Post as it's cleared every bloody COVID checkpoint from New South Wales to South Australia. Uh, yeah, obviously they, they had a cricket match in the back of the truck and this bat lost. Um, the stickers on the back they are good quality I, i've got to say that they're all textured this is all embossed the griffin is all embossed and he's gone for the the laser engraving on the toe there um, which doesn't look too bad you can see that burn in there that's not something that's been pressed in that's been lasered um so yeah look past the damage because there's nothing i can do about that um, I feel bad because the owner's actually, he's asked the owner to send it to me for review and it's got damaged on the way, but you know, what do you do? Put it through the gauge. So clearly when I put it that way, you can see that it's giving away about uh, six mil on the spine and on the edges as well. Turn it this way. Okay. Turn it that way and you can see a couple of mil given away on the face. So we're looking at about a three mil camber but it's not perfectly flat you can see it does taper towards the edges and those grains are nice and straight running through the toe which I do like um, it's definitely what you want to see uh, and the, the grains do have a bit of color they're not that dull uh, bleached look that you get on a lot of bats where they've uh, used some sort of agent to make it look whiter than it is and then once you oil it it just turns into something else now let's uh, put the gauge on it and see what we're actually so 34.4 mil at the edge, still really thick at the toe, have a look at that, 24.5. Center of the toe, 27 and a half. Edge at the shoulder, that's 14, which is pretty good. And I do like that there's a lot of thickness up here in the shoulder, and that's gonna defeat a lot of twist in the bat. 37.5, that's really good. Um, let's look at the width of the bat. And there's a tiny little bit, there's a millimetre millimetre difference, okay, that's nothing. Um, so I wouldn't say that it's tried to lose any weight that way. The handle is really nice, I've got to say that. It's actually a real nice shape, it's a semi-oval and towards round at the top. Um, this grip is really grippy, it's a good quality grip I've got to say too. And we'll have a look underneath to see what's going on. Um, so we got some initials there. Now there's a little bit of uh, breakage where the inserts have gone through. That's that sort of cheaper, 
quality cork on the inserts there. That means that the, the handle is going to become pretty whippy, um, like all these four insert handles are. Um, it's four on that side, but obviously there's a little bit of breakage here. Um, the quality of the binding is pretty good. It's a thin cotton binding. And what does it feel like? So, in the hands, the balance is pretty even. I think I'm dealing with about a 2.9, maybe towards 2.10. And let's see what it actually weighs. Oh my goodness. Yeah, 2.11.3. So, the player is actually a female. I think that's way too heavy to send a bat to a female. Um, I would have thought, you know, two, seven, three quarters, you know, that needs to be three ounces less, probably. Um, I've just got the mallet out, so why wait? Let's tap it up and see what this bat maker has done. Somebody said to me today, you should hit it with a flat side, you hear better. I'd love to hear your thoughts on that. Do you think it's better flat or round? Um, that actually pings pretty good. Uh, it's on the, what I would say, the firmer side, but it's a nice, it's actually a nice pingy bit of timber. Here you go, thank you very much to um, HR for sending that over. That's his own brand. I'll leave the Facebook link um, so you can contact him if you're interested. I think he's he played in New York but I think he's in I think he was in Dubai or somewhere around there and it, obviously he's from um, Bangladesh. This is his pro edition and um, I think he said he's posting it to Australia from wherever it's coming from for 350 and he's making pretty much nothing on the bat. Yeah, I guess a labour of love. Uh, you wonder the, the, the reason people do it, and I think some people do it because they just want to have a bat brand. Some people get into it because they really want to make money. Uh, good luck to him, um, that's all I can say. Um, so thank you very much, and that's the Griffin. Okay, this is for the bat owner. I have taken a fair bit of wood out of that area there with sanding and left that intact. I've also done a slight chop at the toe but put a camber in so it will still feel normal. It's 540 mil so you're going to find it, it's a little bit shorter but it definitely has improved the swing. I took those stickers off and took that all the way back to there so your edge is still consistent with what it was so it's a fairly healthy edge and a very thick toe because I can't touch that etching and the dead weight 2102 it was 2113 and the other thing I did was I put binding on the handle and I've only strapping tape rather than binding and put just binding over that in that area there so it should be fine um, just takes a little bit of weight out. It definitely feels uh, like it's got a lot more bat speed now. I'll just put a little bit of tape down there just to glue that down. Yeah, I haven't obviously touched the front. Giving you a nice square toe. A lot of players like that. And that's it. That's your Chris Lynn.